Hey guys, Manas here back again with another video. Today in this video, we're going to talk about Cuoco ROM for Lyco LE2, which is based on EUI 5.9.028S. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. But before that, I want to tell you guys about the problem I faced while I was preparing to install this ROM. So I had EUI 5.8 installed on my LE2, which is the stock ROM for LE2. और जब आप EUI 5.8 इंस्टॉल करते हो साथ में आपको बीटा सुपर एस यू वी फ्लास करना पड़ता है और वो आपके फ़ोन के इंटरनल स्टोरेज को मोडिफाई करता है एफ ए टी फॉर्मेट में आई गैस लेकिन एंड्रॉयड ई एक्स टी फोर फाइल पर्टिशन को प्रीफर करता है एंड दिस ई एक्स टी फोर फाइल सिस्टम इज़ नेटिव फाइल सिस्टम फॉर एंड्रॉयड आई गॉट ऑल दिस थिंग्स ऑन एक्स टी ए वेबसाइट Now I had to repair my internal storage otherwise I cannot install any rom on my phone because the internal storage was showing as 0 MB moreover I was not able to wipe anything because of this problem and the solution for this is now I had to convert my internal storage to FAT or EXFAT and then convert that back into EXT4 which is the native file system for Android as I mentioned before थैंकफुली मुझे एक बहुत ही हेल्पफुल वीडियो मिला था यूट्यूब पे फ्रॉम ए चैनल नेम्ड द एनक्रिप्टेड गाय अदरवाइज मुझे कुछ भी पता नहीं लग रहा था सो आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन सो दैट यू गैस कैन चेक दट आउट इफ यू आर इन द सेम ट्रेवल नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दी रोम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दी यू आई द यू आई ऑफ दिस रोम इज नॉट दैट स्मूथ इफ यू आर कमिंग फ्रॉम यू आई फाइव पॉइंट एट और अदर यू आई फाइव पॉइंट नाइन रोम्स then you will definitely find this rom slow not very slow but slow sometimes swiping between home screens or swiping between folder pages is laggy oh new feature now you can access all the folders on your desktop by opening only one folder all you have to do is swiping left or right to go to the other folder इसी बीच हम लोग रैम मैनेजमेंट की भी बात कर लेते हैं so in this rom while you are dealing with multiple apps इट विल वर्क क्वाइट फाइन प्रॉब्लम्स तभी आती है जब आप ऐप स्विच करना चाहेंगे फ्रॉम दिस सो कॉल कंट्रोल सेंटर इट इज़ स्लो आई मीन यू विल नोटिस इट इट इज़ दैट स्लो हाउ एवर एप्स विल बी देयर वेर यू हैव लेफ्ट इट विच इज़ ए गुड थिंग बट स्विचिंग बिटवीन एप्स इज स्लो इन माई ओपिनियन बट दिस डजन इफेक्ट इन एप परफॉर्मेंसेस ऑल एप्स आर रनिंग स्मूथ वंस यू आर इन द एप एंड अनलाइक यू आई फाइव पॉइंट एट एंड स्मॉल यू आई based on EUI 5.9.026s this rom can run pubg very smoothly with little hiccup now let's talk about the customization of the ui well there are several customization options present in this rom but i will mention some of it there is an option called cuoco settings in the settings menu where you can find all the customization options for the ui you can change the screen density You can change the system font if you are getting bored of the same default font and believe me it gives a whole fresh look to the UI moreover you can block ads from YouTube or other sites with the help of Adaway then you got a system app uninstaller to uninstall unnecessary apps you can increase or decrease the CPU frequency based on your uses There is an advanced option at the very bottom of Cuoco settings menu where you can change the look of the UI. If you want toggles on your notification panel, you can do that here. If you select Android on the user interface option, then you will get a card-based look same as stock Android. Then in the status bar style option, you can choose between EUI, iOS or MIUI style. I have chosen the iOS one with the clock showing at the center. and it looks kind of cool there are more in there to play with and if you are a guy who like customizing their phones you will enjoy this room battery life is below average i would say although it is showing 6 hours left at 33% it does not last that long while in idle state if you are using mobile data or wifi it keeps draining i would like to mention that this happened with the ultra long standby mode on and if you keep this mode on all the time sometimes it automatically kills all background apps now please tell me in the comments below is this common in all of you guys who install this rom on your le2 or this is happening only with me i just wanted to know 
I have already mentioned some of it earlier about the UI and RAM management. The UI is slow most of the time, multitasking is slow, in-app performance is okay, most of the games works including PUBG. So yeah, that's it. Sensors. All the sensors are working perfectly, no problems with that. As an example, I am showing the proximity sensor is working fine. Connections. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Geo 4G works fine without any problem. I'm not getting any connection problem till now. I'm showing you the installation of Geo 4G SIM anyway because I have shot it and I don't want to waste a clip. If you're watching this video, then you probably own a LE2 and hence you are familiar with the EUI camera app. Well, the story is same here. You will get the same old EUI camera interface with no difference of photo or video quality. I have nothing more to say. So yeah, that's all about this Cuoco ROM for Lyco LE2. I think this is a good ROM but have some slowness in its UI. You can install it and use this as your daily driver. Just replace the default launcher with Nova or something like that and you are free from UI sluggishness. But you may feel slow multitasking sometimes while switching between apps.